Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Hand Corner. We have React starting as the brown Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Kiko starting as the orange Terran. This is on Good Night. And this is BSL Season 14 semifinals. This could be an intense match. So Kiko has been playing. I've seen an elevation in his play between previous seasons and this. This season, he seems to be playing ferociously. Very strong play. He's going up against React. React, we've seen him play more of a macro-oriented style here and there. I think if he's opting to do that versus Kiko, I'm going to give the edge to Kiko. Over what this could lead to is four very prolonged games that, have, that lead up to massive mid-game fights and have kind of the deciding factors there. And I think if React allows the deciding moments, I'm just gonna say at this level, it feels like the level two weapons, level one armor attack is just extremely strong. And I feel like if React allows Kiko to just do that standard build or even walk into the three bases maxing out at the level two weapons, level one armor, just that style of Terran play, Kiko executes it extremely well. What Kiko does less well is oftentimes, especially when he's going and taking that third, he can be a little bit sluggish in doing so, even with minimal Protoss forces there. So hopefully, I'm hoping React doesn't just try to play it straight up Gateway Man versus Kiko, like we've seen a lot of other Protoss who've fallen do. And I hope React really, yeah, gets a strong instinct I don't know, mix it up a little bit. Seeing Cybernetic score. Barracks towards the front for a potential steal. Kiko is scouting upper left hand corner first. We aren't seeing cross spawn Nexus first. The frustration of our. the bane of Artosis's existence. Probe Scout making its way to the bottom right, right hand side. Looks like we already have gas yes, mining Cybernetic score wolfing in. And thus far, React even skipping Zealot first. We'll see if he's going to produce an additional Dragoons, go for a rapid range to potentially apply pressure to Kiko's front door to slow that economy down, or if he's going to skip range. And instead, we've seen a lot of Protoss players do that in the meta these days, is skip range and opt for faster robotics facilities, things along those lines. Second Marine being produced. On the front, no movements towards the front just as of yet. We're seeing one SCV returning to gas rather than the full three, which suggests we are going to see one factory into expansion. First Dragoon produced, we are seeing range being morphed. No second gateway. Looks like Kiko's just going to go one gate into expand. Probe's being boxed out of the left-hand corner, so it isn't entirely aware of what the build order is. And usually the safer play here is to go for that second gateway when you just don't have the information. Kiko actually going for a cross-spawn scout immediately after this. Dragoon making its way across. Second Dragoon being produced. And Kiko still has no information, but it looks like he's going to plop down that command center regardless. Just assuming he's not going up against a pressure build. Potentially would have spotted the Zealots or other things as he was making his way across. Dragoon is in position to deny information but unfortunately allows that SCV to wander in. Three pylon scouted. A Dragoon actually trying to... So Kiko opened up with a Vulture. Dragoon's trying to hunt down that Vulture, but the Vulture able to scoot by. And between this Dragoon hunting down this SCV in the main... I don't know if this... So yeah, the Vulture probably not going to get a lot accomplished. He's going to be able to get away... Just has a faster acceleration speed, so is going to be able to get away from that Dragoon. Machine shop being plopped down. Bunkers up, three Marines in there, so Kiko getting his command center rolling. Range is finished. But with that Vulture threatening on the map, part of the advantage of having that before the Dragoon's able to really do damage on the front is, is it forces... the Protoss player to play a little bit more defensively just in case it could slip by and go for those juicy probe kills. Robotics facility morphing in the main. 
barracks floating out and planting in the natural expansion. SCVs now saturating. React doing a pretty good job of maintaining that worker count. But he's going to be a little bit behind this command center out a little bit earlier for Kiko. Machine shop pumping those tanks. No upgrades yet. Just going to get those siege tanks to deal. So range was finished, but... Might help deal with the Vulture. Let's see if this Vulture is going to try to meander down and peek into that natural expansion. Probably not going to get a lot of eyes. It looks like because of the half health, might hold up. I don't think... Mines have not yet been upgraded. Two additional gateways tacked down. We do see that observatory. Reacts natural expansion. Now up and running. Pylon wall starting to be filtered in. The Dragoon's going to go ahead and walk back to make that more of a defensive seal. And actually, Dragoon just sitting there in the natural expansion just in case. There could be a potential drop. Right now, React just has very little information until that observer makes its way across the map. Second factory being plopped down. Comsat station, engineering bay. We already have that armory up. It's always a bit of a stretch right there. Weapons one. First Comsat by Kiko. Going to be able to go ahead and see the gateway count. Citadel of Adun, potentially not getting spotted. So we're seeing, yeah, this is a very quick Citadel of Adun. I'm wondering if we're going to see a quick movement into Two-Gate Arbiter with this play. The Observer spotting the Vulture to the north. SUVs hanging out near that third base. So the Vulture basically confirming for Kiko that React didn't go for a quick third. Or if there was a quick third, it was at a distance location. Kiko is going to migrate that vulture around just to absolutely make sure. Three siege tanks on the front, some missile turrets being planted defensively. Forge being plopped down for React, which all of this makes me a bit concerned that we are going to see an attempt at Gateway Man in the mid-game with some upgrade rolling. Starport being plopped down. Second machine shop from Kiko, so we're just going to see more of a macro-oriented map, and I don't even know when Siege Tech got produced, but it feels like Siege Tech came out very, very late for Kiko. He's just, he's had no pressure up to this stage, and that's not something I think you can do to Kiko. Granted, sometimes Kiko is a little bit, a little bit overly defensive and overly cautious here and there, but at the moment, he's in, yeah, right now he's searching for that third, not seeing that third. I think he's going to have wind that this is going to be something along the lines of two base Arbiter. React potentially going to go for recall. Observer over that edge to kind of look at the siege tank count. Decent attack force, actually decent supply lead already for React. But Kiko already setting up. So actually uncharacteristically, I kind of like this. Being a little bit forward aggressive upon not seeing that third and opting to go ahead and potentially grab this mineral only expansion a bit more rapidly than he usually does. Checking to make sure observers along. He's trying to observer hunt. The observer moved to the north. It looks like React going ahead and grabbing a nexus of his own. He does have that Stargate up. Double forge. Morphing in the background, Arbiter Tribunal as well. Five gateways. And it looks like React, in response to this, I think he realizes that there's movements to go ahead and grab that third base. He's going to try to double expand rapidly and take that 12 o'clock base as well. Third factory, Vulture upgrades. Being upgraded. <laughs> Trying to find a different word for that for Kiko. Those vultures, as they're able to scooch out, should be able to confirm, at least, the additional expansion. This is a very exposed base, and even with the cannons in the way, sometimes vultures can get a handful of kills. But we'll see if he does, in fact, go for this 12 o'clock base. He's currently setting up to do so, so unfortunately with those vulture upgrades, they're important at large, but... I don't know that the vultures running out are going to do a lot for Kiko right this second. First Arbiter on its way. 
And plus one weapons is already online. Kiko's already shown that he's planning on just sitting back, going for that plus two weapons. Sit off three bases and just play the upgrade game. That is the style he's most comfortable in. Barracks to the north. Vulture slipping through. Looks like it's going to be able to make it to the 12 o'clock location and dispatch that probe before it's able to plant Nexus and drop a mine. So it's going to delay things a bit. Kiko's still trying to observer hunt. This time finds it over that northern wall. And Kiko actually, I got to say hats off with all the comsat and reaction here. He is played economically aggressive. Maybe even thinking about taking the 6 o'clock location. But has responded very, very well to React's troop counts. And hasn't really overcommitted troops or been too passive in taking additional bases here. He's really gone forward and aggressive and then really cleaned up that aspect of his play, which makes him even scarier. Five factories are out. Plus two weapons, plus one armor on the way. Dragoons eat one mine to the south. They are planted there to potentially box out three bases. Right now, React macroing extremely well. Up 40 supply. Incredible macro. But he does have to, if he's going to take the fight to Giko, he has to fight in defensive locations. I'm wondering if... I didn't see whether Recall was upgraded or not. Usually with two base or movements towards two base Arbiter, you see that early upgrade just to get a quick recall. There's a lot of territory to cover for Kiko. Swarming the Dragoons to the right. Very quickly dispatching, very convincingly dispatching those troops. A Zealot sneaking in. Kiko adding a six factory. And right now, React... He's got that supply advantage. This is usually where you'd want to be crashing down on something, but instead it looks like he's just going to sit back and grab his fourth base. Zealot going to get taken out to the south. React actually with a huge lead, just macroing extremely well. But we'll see how this plays out. This could turn into a mid-game advantage where React hits 200-200, I guess more late game advantage, where React hits 200-200 well before Kiko does, and plays from there. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor has come online, but Kiko looks like he wants to play the slow game. He wants to try to establish the 6 o'clock base and just max out. So delay bases, max out from there. React, however, on his 4 bases is very close to 200 supply. SCV going to get wiped out. However, as things stand, this is going to be effectively five base Protoss versus what will be four base Terran. React will be in a solid position, has plenty of lead, and he's actually done a pretty good job of keeping upgrades behind this. The one thing I'm concerned about is, is where are the Arbiters? Is the, is the Arbiter count equalized? Actually, he's going to grab a six base in that bottom right-hand corner. So he wants to get that big bank and just starve out Kiko over the long run. Dragoons cutting off Kiko's vultures as they're trying to sneak by to the north. Kiko starting to open things up to maybe make some maneuvers. Dragoons getting taken out and engaging. This is one thing from Good Knight is, is once you've established kind of your quadrant especially as Terran, you can hold a lot of territory with just a few siege tanks. You can see where they can just reposition to the south. And React is grabbing expansions all over the map at this stage. Claiming territory absolutely everywhere. Not bothering with his 3 o'clock, instead grabbing an expansion to the bottom right, potentially to get to that refugee style and a vulture dangerously close to this probe. Gateway count continuing to filter up. No second gateway as of yet. But yeah, so we got... What is this? One, two, three, four. So mains mining out. 
But this is going to be plenty of bases to deal with that in the meantime. Kiko is going to grab three, but effectively the way React wants to play this is I'm going to have a 200-200 army, let you sit in your quadrant, and I'm going to mine everything else out. Build a huge bank, and then you're just not going to be able to push into me. To really play that style, I'm hoping for a second Stargate and more Arbiters. Right now we got two Arbiters. Not seeing a lot of energy with them. We do have some High Templar around as well. You can already see some gateways being plopped down to that bottom right-hand corner from React preventatively as he's hitting that 200 mark. Hitting it well ahead of Kiko. We'll see plus three weapons just finishing, plus two armor not that far behind. An Arbiter looked like it was going for a recall over the natural expansion. But enough turrets there were to were able to deny that. And with that, is Kiko gonna move? Is the next question. Dropping a commsat to kind of see what's out there. A vulture finds this expansion upper left. React is posturing his army. Initially, it looked like moving to bottom right, but upon seeing that commsat at that location, maybe he's gonna go to the left. Observer's continuing to get picked off to keep that troop movement a little bit darker. The armies mirroring each other across the middle of the map. And React potentially gonna go for a counter attack at the six o'clock. Kiko sees that army is repositioning the siege tanks to get back to the bottom right corner. So React doesn't need to even dedicate to this attack, to be honest. He can just, great play on his part. He can just threaten this bottom right-hand corner. That forces Kiko back into a defensive posture and then continue to mine merrily across all these bases and secure them. A couple vultures and siege tanks being split off to go for a potential attack to the north or maybe even secure this interior nine o'clock location for Kiko. React may be looking to attack up, poking the Dragoons leading instead of the Zealots. Good stasis along the left. Psystorm there as well, and the Zealots able to get on the high ground. Siege tanks have Zealots on top of them on the low ground. Kiko with the defense matrix on the front. I don't know that it's gonna be sufficient. However, there's not enough troops for React to punch through the heavy upgrades. But here's the thing, React engaging here on the high ground. He's forcing Kiko to respond to this rather than expanding. He's got to refill that troop count, redefend the six o'clock location. So yeah, that was some troops expended, but React is taking every other base behind this. So primarily this is delay tactics. However, for the time being, way down on troops, didn't macro very well behind that to refill that troop count rapidly. Didn't have the troops queued. So he's gonna lose this expansion it looks like to the inside 10 o'clock location. Also, vultures streaming across are going to catch a good amount of probes here as they're transferring to the upper left. Quickly making short work of those cannons. Some reinforcements making their way across. There are no observers leading. Looks like they are going to take... Are they going to take a path that's going to avoid those that minefield? Vultures scattering and... Looks like they're gonna be able to completely empty that base. So Kiko with small advantages here, the bank count is just about even. If React can continue to hold the territory and then force Kiko into these defensive slots, he can actually lose these Dragoons freely as long as he keeps up with the macro and evicts these Vultures in the upper left. So surrounding the siege tanks first across the nine o'clock, Kiko starting to move out and realize there's a lot of a lot of territory that's been taken by React. Able to finish off this Nexus in the upper left-hand corner. If he can migrate down and take out the Nexus at the natural, that'll put him once again in a strong position. Still, this is going to be five base Protoss versus soon to be two base Terran. So Kiko does need to expand to that nine o'clock. As things stand though, he has a larger bank. A lot of forces moving in for React and there's no counter defense force to secure this. 
So React moving in, going to continue to delay that Snyder Clock. So despite being down on troops, yes, he lost the Nexus to the upper left. Might lose the Nexus here at the Natural Expansion, but he can retake that. And on top of that, he is starting to force Kiko into the hard wall because that is just two bases, one of them being a mineral only, to work out of. React now moving to the north, going ahead and clearing out those vultures in the upper left. And this is fine for React. He can go ahead and clear everything to the upper left and rebuild. Looks like he's got some gateways to the bottom right-hand corner. A vulture is trying to delay it. As things stand, you can see Kiko just has the bottom left-hand corner of the map and very little else. And the upgrades now, level three weapons, level three armor, actual upgrade advantage for React overall. He still wants to make sure there's Arbiters. Now he has the double Stargate. All sorts of gateways behind this. So React actually in a strong position where all he needs to do is, yeah, swat these vultures down. High Templar getting picked off there. Force Kiko to expend a lot of troops to try to defend and take this inside nine and continue to just mine everything else out. In the meantime, a single Arbiter hovering, trying to take the vultures out to the north. Maybe potentially a recall to the six o'clock. That would be a killing blow in this instance. Observers are gonna, are they gonna try to tank that shot? Initial EMP, there's still EMP to work with though. Siege tanks moving across midfield into the that what might have been the recall army. Kiko pushing it back. And while doing so, establishing that nine o'clock base, the zealots creating in from multiple locations. It looks like these siege tanks might be short for life. The Arbiter got EMP'd, so not able to drop any support stasis. And React losing a lot of Dragoons, but took out a lot of Siege Tanks, still maintaining the supply lead, and able to get some Zealots into that 9 o'clock base. To disrupt the economy there, actually forcing a brief liftoff as that Zealot able to harass. Lower location of the bottom right-hand base being grabbed. And now Kiko starting to stream troops across. Honestly, as long as React keeps just showing Arbiters to the bottom, and attacking towards the nine o'clock or pressuring the nine o'clock, things are gonna be difficult for Kiko. However, React still needs to keep mining at these bases. Yeah, he holds them currently, but he needs to mine them out. Right now, the bank's just about even. Never mind, React taking a sudden leap. And really, the bank is what's going to be, it's kind of the, the time clock that both players are gonna be playing against in this style. Single Vulture able to sneak up. Dragoon is going to easily be able to dispatch that. Some more vultures trying to stream to the bottom right. Catching a lot of probes in transition. Dark Templar, everything else there. Going to be able to engage. There are some cannons defensively as well. And you can see React starting to filter into the middle of the map. I like that he's mixing in some Dark Templar to force some additional sci uh, sci storm, some additional scans out. Keep the scan low so it's more difficult for Kiko, Kiko to keep track of army location. Three Arbiters out in the field. Zealot's looking to clear that minefield to the south. Plenty of siege tanks to the north. This might be an overcommit on React's part. Moving uphill without any side storm. This Arbiter Able to get a stasis off, it looks like, on some reinforcements, but React kind of, yeah, with the split attack, not able to accomplish much on either field. Two vultures still here in the gap. But the way things are shaping up, React still in a strong position because he's got the rest of the map controlled and he's got a good amount of bases. He can retreat to the bottom right. Vulture's actually able to sneak through, get a handful of pro kills. Well, maybe. This one's just holding position, not attacking for some reason. Maybe on stop command. Let's see if that gets cleaned up. I'll try to keep an eye on. This could be... Okay, the Zelt's finally wandering in. There they... There... That was weird. Usually you'll least attack probes. Right there. Right now, Kiko in desperate trouble because he's once again in a situation where he's... At two mining bases. 
He's got a big bank, but low on gas, uh, as far as minerals go, but very low on gas. Looks like he wants to try to stake a claim potentially on this mineral only to the north. But this is where it's going to get a bit dicey. Single Siege Snake making its way up here. So reacts already starting to mine. So he's got the, the, the right hand quadrant working. Gonna clean up that siege tank rather rapidly. Flurry of scans being dropped. You can see the science vessel just on patrol to try to swat any sort of recall that would come to that location. But now Kiko, he still wants to defend that. He's got to defend the six and the nine. So he's kind of pinned in a situation where I'm not sure that it would be wise to attack. But he really wants to clear out everything to the upper left so that he, he can claim it and keep React from taking those minerals before he has an opportunity to do so. Biggie a P on that army to the north, really going to equalize this fight. And that, that one EMP might just force React to just give up the expansions to the upper left. Looks like instead of dealing with any of that, he's just going to reposition his army, maybe try to attack the six o'clock. Kiko on top of this, moving his troops to the high ground plateau to engage this. So nice anticipation. More EMP. So Kiko with some nice sweeps. However, with React's troop movement, well, might get a big stasis here. Well, no, never mind. Oh, that was such a dud. That looked like it was going to be exciting, and then just hit two. React still pushing in, going to dedicate troops to go ahead and clear this, and actually able to breach. There's just two siege tanks there on the high ground. If React repivots and just dives into the six, he might be able to wipe it out, but instead he's just going to go ahead and back off. However, Kiko did dedicate three siege tanks and an Goliath to go ahead and clear out upper left. He's also going ahead and establishing that mineral only. So despite holding the upper left, React forfeiting that position, and now all of a sudden we got a match again. As Kiko taking control of the upper left, which means it could be a split map situation. And if he gets an opportunity to mine upper left, React could suddenly find himself in an economic deficit. Three bases still rolling for React versus just the two bases, but the third base coming online, an Arbiter looking for a recall. Dragoon's able to get their nice emergency defense matrix. A handful of Dragoons getting here might be able to do some damage to some turrets, but I don't know that they're going to be able to get much else. Did I say natural? This is 9 o'clock base. So Siege Tank's wiped out. A base being grabbed from Kiko the upper, to the upper left, so double expanding behind this. Some vultures just planting mines along that edge. These probes being moved to the bottom right-hand bases. And now things actually might work out for Kiko, where he can apply pressure potentially to the bottom right. And force React to either dedicate attacks to the upper left, and it would be kind of a double economic elimination situation, potentially. Kiko actually going to go ahead, some SCVs were moving to the north, but going to back out now that the Arbiters are here. An Arbiter and a Zealot was here, going to be able to see all of the siege tanks moving to the north, the SCP stasis. Another big stasis, a huge clump of troops here for Kiko, but I think he still, yeah, has an overwhelming attack force. So momentarily, shoving React's troops back. Still able to get that upper left-hand base running. SCV's not yet saturated there. The banks have evened out. Gas lead still in React's favor. But React looks like he can... He's got more infrastructure to work with, potentially. Siege tanks trying to split React's focus. Going to engage the 6 o'clock location. A big army peeking at the distance mining of Kiko. Kiko playing a little bit coy here. He does have this at this location, and he does have more mineable bases. He's acting like he's in more of a desperate 
economic situation than he actually is. He's gonna lose some SCVs for it, but I don't know that it's... Honestly, this has probably better filtered his army at this stage of the match anyway. And on top of this, while all these... Looks like there's a stasis drop, but that... Attack force does need to be deal, dealt with in the bottom right-hand corner because that's threatening a lot of React's economy. React trying to rebuild. Very close to full upgrades. Dropping constant stasis. It just feels like every time I look, there is blue crystals all over this interior nine. A Dragoon. And the other issue is, is here, this is a bit of a distractionary attack. It's not finding this expansion in the upper left. React trying to re-grab this space in the upper right -hand corner. That siege shank just out of range. Some siege shanks on the high ground. Now this could be a potential turning point as React moving up to the high ground. Spots an SCV making its way across. Does he peek in to find the command center? It looks like Kiko not going to give an opportunity. Well, maybe he can take it out. Can maybe rush to do it, but there's more just continual stasis actually keeping this base in the bottom right alive. Vulture's starting to peek in to start wipe out that infrastructure. So attacks happening all across the map. More stasis being dropped. The Arbiters are doing work this game. However, React's bank looks like it's dropping below Kiko's for the first time in this match. He does have the supply lead for the moment. And he has so many tanks stasis here. And if he can get a surround on this, this would be a big win. Also... Just marching Zealots up to the 6 o'clock base. It's no longer mining. So it's just the 9 o'clock base rolling. So Kiko taking out the Nexus at the natural expansion in the bottom right. Nothing happening at the mineral only here. There's a lot of stasis siege tanks, but it looks like React is going to back off with what he has. Potentially to, I hope, try to defend bottom right. Because if he doesn't defend bottom right... Yeah, he's picked some minerals off here, but could be devastating. It looks like still trying to force in an attack force to an empty expansion here at the 6 o'clock. I wonder if he's going to try to recall these probes from another location. Would be clever as if he recalls the probes from bottom right to this location. I missed a tech switch to carriers in between here, which explains why there was kind of a filtered troop count. Kiko evacuating the 6 o'clock location. He's going to be denied some Vesping gas. With that, the carriers, plus the Arbiters, working on those siege tanks to the upper left. Kiko streaming in some additional Goliath and SCVs. And so there is attack happening absolutely everywhere, it looks like. Kiko distance mining upper left. There's carriers underneath. Maybe some Goliaths can filter through. Some Dragoons coming from the right. This is a pivotal moment. If Kiko can force his way up and take these upper left-hand bases, I'm going to favor him to win this out. But if React with this carrier fleet and Dragoons underneath can push these Sea Shanks and Goliaths back, I favor him to take the match. Natural expansion is now wiped out bottom right. Still some latent troops here potentially to threaten. Three o'clock base. Potentially going to be emptied. The carriers repositioning across the middle of the map. Zealots trying to stream their way up. I'm not sure where the attack force for React is currently. He's near 200 supply, but I don't see the troops on the ground. He's got a handful of troops here. He's got these carriers in position there. I just don't even know where they're at. A lot of Zelf underneath. Are they just being queued? In the meantime, the base being rebuilt in the upper left-hand corner. The command center actually that floated off. They're just going to sit and I guess just be there for supply. Carriers desperately trying to defend here. There's some additional... It looks like there are a pocket of troops here trying to defend. Kiko expanding to the natural expansion in the bottom right, trying to find resources wherever he can. Critically, he needs gas. It's interesting, kind of, it's a flip scenario here where React is low on minerals, where Kiko is low on gas. The carriers continuing to repel the attack. They might even be able to threaten the mineral only here. 
Forcing cancellation in the bottom right. Still a single siege tank to the north. But React able to hold. And while he's holding there, pushing into the mineral only at the 9 o'clock base. Siege tanks continually getting picked off. It looks like a carrier got picked off in the midst of that. But that's also maybe going to force a cancellation. Potentially not. A single turret there. Trying to deal with interceptors up there. Goliath now taking the field. So Kiko a bit gas starved. React a bit mineral starved. Another carrier going to get picked off. There's just not a lot of room for them to hide. Now they have a potential edge, but they don't have enough defense on the low ground to keep the Goliaths from walking into the main to the upper left. So now they're going to try to use concentrated fire. Cancellation. Group prepare. Goliaths now migrating up. The carriers are exposed. Some observers making their way across. But now maybe these carriers can threaten, at the very least, going to be able to take out that command center right there, but can threaten some multiple locations, potentially. Zealots. High Templar Dragoons grouping up. React may be in a bit of trouble here because he's out of minerals at all of his expansions. He needs to take an additional base. He has nowhere to distance mine currently that isn't really... Maybe he can distance mine the middle of the map? Kiko's still mining at the 9 o'clock. He's still got this mineral only working for him. The Goliath's having a good amount of trouble dealing with the carriers over that northern edge. They're pinned in. But React pushing in with a counterattack towards the main of Kiko, maybe to get on top of that infrastructure. The bunker's empty. It's just Goliath flooding out to eventually deal with this. Some mine drags helping. Another attack grouping making its way across. Some siege tanks making, trying to defend. React down to single-digit minerals. Goliath holding the ramp. And right now, if React wants to get his best punch out of this, he does need to just ignore this command center, everything on the low ground, get on top of the factories, and take the battle there. Siege tanks holding there. It looks like Dragoons and Zelt's going to cut off the reinforcements from the north. Dragoons having trouble getting up the ramp. So now React has managed to get a foothold. And with the heavy upgrades, he is going to be able to wipe out troops rather rapidly as they're produced. React, or sorry, Kiko, group mine. Look at all of these SCV on gas. You can see what he needs. He needs gas. But if he has to rebuild all these factories, that would be an absolutely devastating turn. So React holding on to just a few minerals. Now distance mining in the bottom right hand base able to chew up a lot of this infrastructure and that might just give him the match Kiko desperately trying to rebuild factories in the upper left he's being forced into refugee style and I think with that counter attack maneuver that might have handed the game in a huge swing to react supplies currently even Kiko has a huge bank and minerals to work with here but he needs to rebuild at the same time a huge amount of Goliaths from the upper left-hand corner now making the way to the bottom right. Going to try to wipe out some of React's infrastructure to the bottom right. So a tit-for-tat maneuver. And now it... I don't know. This could turn into a pure starvation match. Two factories being left. React only has a ground army to work with. There's a scattering of tanks here and there. Kiko trying to rebuild in the upper left. Just reestablish. If he can actually get us, if he can get enough siege tanks and get those factories back up, these are two bases he can start working out of, where there's very little minerals out here in the field for React to work with. The carriers managed to get out of that pin corner at that nine o'clock location, so they're migrating back out. And Kiko's mining again. He's got the gas working again. Hasn't taken that gas at natural expansion as of yet. React is going to be... have to fill in a lot of this troop count with High Templar now and potentially Archons. Those Goliaths dealing with everything in the bottom right aren't here to help deal with the carriers in the upper left. 
a few of them on the low ground, but the Dragoon's able to get a lot of damage done there. React behind the supply count, but might have the superior army to chew, chew, to chew through what's left of Kiko's army in the upper left. And he needs to do it, because otherwise he's going to end up getting economically starved out. Dragoon's pressing up the ramp. Able to get on top of the infrastructure once again. So despite Kiko having more minerals in the bank and actually having a superior supply count right this second. React moving in with his army. Going to be able to take out the rest of the infrastructure. Potentially force the GG. Some Goliaths now making their way up to the upper right hand corner. Dragoons still engaging. Psystorm on those Goliaths. And what a turn of events. Once again, the factory's being wiped out. The Goliaths and Vultures from the bottom right-hand corner. Looks like three Goliaths are remaining, but the rest are trying to retreat to get back to this upper left-hand base. React now in a position maybe where you can go ahead and retake the natural expansion and the mineral only in the bottom right. Kiko's still mining, but he has nothing to produce troops out of. So getting wiped out there. React still with a decently cohesive army. Some probes look like they're going to get wiped out by the vultures as they're making their way across. But I don't know outside of these vultures... Looks like some vultures and Goliaths are it right now for Kiko. And that command center are going to get swatted down as well. Kiko <laughs> trying to take a naked expansion bottom right-hand corner. He still might take this match just because React hasn't found additional resources anywhere. I don't know who to call here. More factories have been rebuilt in the meantime by Kiko in the bottom left. Still very thin on gas. More vultures wandering out. Is there, a, is there an observer with this attack force? I don't know that there's an observer here. So vultures might be sufficient. And so Kiko holding on to the last second. We act trying to move probes to the upper left. They're getting wiped out. Can't defend his probes as they're making their way across. More dragoons getting wiped out. Plenty of Goliaths to deal. Well, potentially plenty of Goliaths to deal. SCVs pulling off the line. The Vultures actually attacking with the SCVs on the Dragoons. This is all that's left of React's army currently. So much gas, but no minerals. One carrier down. One remaining. And three Dragoons, and I think that's it for React's army. He wouldn't be able to defend any expansions now. So Kiko holding on to the last second battling with SCVs to run out the clock. React GG's. Incredible match. What a game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if that is what this series is going to be like, oof. Buckle up, people. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.